Refactoring is how you modify an existing code base to make it uh, extensible and, and be able to modify and add the new capabilities that you're trying to add. I'm Arlo Belshi. Uh, for the last 10, well, almost 15 years now, uh, I've been focusing on legacy code. I like working in the ugliest, nastiest code possible. It also tends to be the most important code to the business. Uh, and so my, my whole passion is revitalizing and uh, restoring, mending uh, the core critical elements to the business as we go forward. For a junior engineer, I describe legacy code and code refactoring as simply, it's, it's all about code that you don't understand. And when you're coming into a new code base, it's all code you don't understand. Uh, and often when I'm working with people coming straight out of college, like you've got a lot of experience on solving small problems or solving particular problems and you create a new code base each time. Now, every time we're solving a, new, a problem, we have to extend a new code base. So you have to learn a new set of techniques and that's refactoring. Refactoring is how you modify an existing code base to make it uh, extensible and, and be able to modify and add the new capabilities that you're trying to add. So for a senior engineer, Refactoring is, the job is to increase plasticity, uh, increase the flexibility of software. So we all know as, as senior engineers that we're going to be wrong more than we're going to be right. We're going to be wrong a lot. So whatever we think the ticket says, and even whatever the people who wrote the ticket think it says, is not what we're actually going to end up shipping. So the most important thing in development is to make sure that we create code that can be modified. And that's true of the existing code that was written last month or last year or last decade, as well as the current code. So refactoring is the skill set that allows us to be wrong and then fix that. For a CTO, the purpose of refactoring is all about risk. So when I'm, when I'm at the CTO level, I'm looking at, I've got a lot of risks to my business. There's business risk and market risk and things are changing out there. And I've also got a number of technical risks. I may be on a platform that turns out to be a bad choice. I, it may turn out to be a good choice, but I got in early and we implemented it the wrong way. So there's all these, these risks that come out environmentally and even internally. I, I create something and it turns out it's wrong. As a CTO, I can either try and prevent all the risk or I can try and remediate uh, when, when a problem does turn out to be there. And preventing is hard. We all know that from all of the knowledge of like, how do you run services and reliability and all that stuff. You can't really do prevention effectively, especially at scale. So what you need to do is figure out how do you make things resilient? And the key to resilience is if everybody knows how to refactor, then they can discover that there is a problem and then at the moment of discovery, quickly and in time, resolve that problem and resolve the risk. Uh, so I work with a company called Deep Roots. Uh, we train organizations, individuals, and, and up through the entire organization on how to become menders. So you can find us at uh, digdeeproots.com. Uh, you can also find me on Substack, search for Arlo Belshi, and I've got an occasional newsletter thing that I promote there. Hi there, thank you for staying with us until the end. If you want to learn more about Engineer Explains, click on one of these.